Welcome to today's market update and charts of the day. It's the 3rd of April 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst, with you to lead you around what's happening as we are in the midst of Asian market trading today. Overnight, we saw US equity markets weak again. There was a soft open and then a fairly tight trading range into the close. Markets may be starting to price in a stronger possibility that the Fed may not, as expected, cut rates in June. We're seeing stubborn inflation data as evidenced by the CPI and PPI recently and also that PCE data on Friday We've got rising oil prices and of course strong economic data it gives the Fed the permission in inverted commas to pause. US futures are trading fairly near neutral in early trading today. No dramatic sell-off in those as yet. But we are seeing Asian markets following that weak US lead. ASX seems to be dropping as the day goes on. It's now down around 1.3%. European equity futures are also pointing to a cautious open. The US dollar index pulled back a little bit overnight from its mid-Feb highs that it hit the previous day. And that obviously benefited gold, which hit new record highs. Fairly close now to 2300 which would be quite a spectacular price if it gets to there. Copper also did well breaching short-term resistance at 406. 415 is the next key level for the king of base metals to keep an eye on. And oil, as we've already intimated, continued to go higher, confirmed its push through 85 on the WTI contract and closing at October levels. Bitcoin continued to pull back from 71,000, may test 63,000 support if the selling continues. And on the data front, obviously, US jobs are the highlight for the week. Tonight, we start off with the ADP report. Then, of course, we've got weekly jobs tomorrow and the non-farm payrolls Friday. Also out today, I Chinese and US services PMI. And quite importantly, in that region, the Eurozone CPI is later today. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Each energy are worth looking at. You can see there we've had a breach of a key level at 181 it's trading around about 188 today in terms of context you can see again the importance of this level if we look back to the last time it was here uh, our weekly close back in june 2022 was at 186 as well it did hit an intra-week high of 190 we're just trading beneath that there so we think 190 is probably worth having a look at in terms of where this may go next if it does breach this then certainly a move up to two dollars in the short term but possibly even a move up to 220 medium term if the buying into energy continues on the fx front we're seeing an interesting level tested on the euro usd we talked about the euro usd yesterday potentially breaking out of this range it did that towards the back end of the european session and you can see there since the last part of the US session and early Asian trading today was stuck in a range. Could be a potential move higher uh, if we breach this, possibly uh, in excess of 25 points in the medium term to take us back up to 108. Uh, that is a target level on this particular pair, particularly if we continue to see a little weakness in the USD throughout the day. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.